All right, so we do start off like we do every session. We get a nice little recap in. All right, so recap. So the group completed their Wednesday, the first day of classes. We're already in session four. And we're finally doing the finishing the first day of classes. Um, some oh, yeah. loved their classes. Some were indifferent. But the bulk of the session was the class where you challenged Charon, the ex gym leader of the university. Oh, fuck him. Who is a professor and researcher at Pokemon University. Each He's person... got a degree in cock sucking. <laughs> Each person except <laughs> Joe, who was out of character, was was away. Battled him with the girls, or battled him. The girls rose in Amalia, defeated him. The guy, Gavin and Foresight, either had Gale luck or wasn't good enough to win afterwards. Everyone <laughs> went to get food from the very beginning of the. <clears throat> at, went to get food. From the very beginning of the day, Gavin was being followed and eventually met his stalker, which was a weird grass-type froakie. Uh, he fought it and caught it. After classes, Amalia went to fill out paperwork for disability to help her to get her to help get her with her classes. Um, she must return Thursday, which is the next day, to check on the paperwork out after everything was done. Um, after everything was done. With food, Amalia in the middle of the classroom channeled Puck. So the group kidnapped her with Sharon carrying her on his back. Amalia saw, uh, used her scrying ability and saw Jerry examine where the body was. Amalia also chilled as Puck poking at outlets and someone didn't notice this. After this hilarious, hilarious role play moment, the group investigated the body um, from the pictures that Forsyth took and it was. They found out it was a girl named Selfie Tillman, who's a research student studying mythology. She was a third year from Towsie City in, Delcy, in the Delcy region. Uh, she's also in three clubs, the Our God's Real Club, the Science Club, the Book Club. And later that night, Amalia met Lily, uh, who, or re-met Lily from the Our God's Real Club and borrowed a book on Aura. She also texted Rose, um, sorry for everything. Uh, Forsyth went to his club meeting and met a friend named Rex Smith, the creator of Rex Smith and the Raiders of the Lost Zorark. And the eventually, greatest person ever. <laughs> eventually, everyone went to bed, and in the middle of the night, Gavin and Forsyth received a knock on their door. And this right, is where we oh, yeah. I'm afraid. <laughs> that was annoying. This will be interesting. I guess I want to roll out of bed and go answer the door, because everything's fine. All right. Gavin will just um, sit up and watch him do it. All right. So once you get to the door, we are going to move to a different scene. <laughs> <laughs> just to find the next time time on Jack and Balls. <laughs> I was eating my soup and I almost fucking choked on it. Thanks, guys, for making me laugh like that. That's my job. All right. So we're Cut. going to go to Amalia. I have a fun little thing for you. Ooh. All right, so um, you start um, going, like, you start tossing and turning, not having too good of a night of sleep. Um, you get up, you look at Puck, you know, sleeping next to the outlet, like, his one of his um, arms in the outlet, like, slowly just draining electricity while sleeping. Um, that sounds normal. It's and normal night. you hear a voice in your head. And the voice says, I'm interested in you. Soon I will talk with you. Um, didn't it just talk to her? Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, actually, that's where you're wrong. We're talking right now. Who are you, by the way? She thinks. The voice does nothing. Like, you don't hear the voice again. Fucking disembodied voices. <laughs> well, I like how you're using that voice. Thanks, man. Me too. Yeah. All right. So, all right. Now we're gonna go back to Forsyth knocking on the door. I just had to build a little bit more suspense of that of this door. All right. So, um, Forsyth. You Knock on the door and 
there is two police officers standing at the door. Hello, guys. Um, one of them says, are you Forsyth P. J P. Jones? Yes. Alright, we need you to come with us. Can I ask why? Mm, no. We got a warrant to take you with us. Okay. <laughs> oh, I saw that coming. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. <laughs> Actually, according to the law, you could demand to see the warrant before you leave to make sure it's actually factual. You're oh not there. You're also, not there. I don't know that. I'm not a cop. Yeah. I'm yeah. just stating for the record in real life standards. Yeah. Put the same rule on. All right. So, uh, do you willingly go with them? I don't think I have much of a choice. So yeah. <laughs> All right. What does Gavin say or do? Gavin sees this. Makes no of it, and then goes back the fuck to sleep. <laughs> That's a great he's, friend. He's used to this shit. He's like, whatever, I'll be fine. It's the uh, cops. He can't do much about the cops. Yeah. Yes, you can. You can tell me how not to have to deal with that. You're used you to dealing with them. You can beat the shit out of them. Poison them. No, I'm going to come die. in and slide and... <laughs> off them to come and slide. The cops? Yeah. Considering... Hey, aren't you like super afraid of the cops? Cause you suck. <laughs> Cause he sucks. He's ass. cautious of the cops. He's afraid of uh, Amber's mom. Yeah. So about a transit of property? Yes, to the cops. No, not the like, yeah. She's head of the cops. Where do they take me though? <laughs> All right, so to a different city. As you're walking, uh. You start to head down the stairs. Um, in this process, they cuff you, and then they put a sack over your head. <laughs> I don't like this, fam. <laughs> All right. Um, eventually, they walk with Someone's you. Someone's being taken to the rape cave. I refuse. <laughs> no rape. They eventually take you to, um, for about 15 minutes, um... And then they sit you down, or they, you feel them push you to sit you down. Uh, and then they take the sack off, and there's a guy standing in front of you laughing a little bit. It's Charon. Wait, do I recognize the guy? You do not. Wait, so why am I here? <laughs> the bag <of> McGee. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> The guy's like, well, oh, didn't you want to become popular? <laughs> Whoa. What? Oh, my God. What? God damn it, what? I'm like, yes, but it's going to be this way. Uh, we had to have a little fun with meeting you. I mean, great prank, bruh. <laughs> Because I was afraid. Good. So are who are you exactly? Officers here. Uh, my name's Luke. Out of character, Luke is a goddamn cut. Every dude named Luke is a cut. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't fuck up the entire galaxy with his fucking bitch fits. <laughs> hey. Yes. He's like, my name is Luke, and the two police officers who arrested you, they're Karen and Tyler. Like, nice to meet you guys. Y'all are really good actors. Hey, it, it's our job to do stuff like this. <laughs> Gotta run the school, man. Yeah. Oh no! Just, I'm not gonna join the cult yet. <laughs> hey, what time is it actually? It, it, uh, you look up and in front of you there is a um clock that shows like 1 a.m. 
too damn early for that shit. Like. So. I'm going to stab you. <laughs> Emmer, I'm going to stab you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, so to. someone watches fucking wrestling. <laughs> All right, so Luke's like, "All right, so I hear from a good old friend of mine that you want to get popular here at PU." Yes, yes, I do. <clears throat> well, what puts you talent-wise for me to want to make you popular? I mean, I'm pretty good at talking anybody doing what I want, and I'm amazing when it comes to photos. Tell him you're really good at sucking dick. You know what? I <laughs> I am intrigued by this, and I have a task for you. If you I'll... complete it, I will let you in with us probationarily. Through you truly... truly... After the probation period, it's more of like, see if we can truly like you. Okay. All right. What's the task? Task? Get a picture of a nudes from someone on campus. That's <laughs> Friday. That just coincides with his goals right now. <laughs> I just imagine Forsyth sitting there nodding and thinking, this changes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> now he has, he has a deadline by Friday to do it, though. Do you have anyone in mind? Anyone specifically, or is this anyone? Um, has to be a new picture. Has to be someone, a student on this campus, and it has to be by Friday. Got it. <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard. Ah, you, if you can get people to do anything you want, prove it to me. <laughs> Mission start. <laughs> if, what? If you can get people to do anything you want, why would you want to be popular? Isn't that like a prerequisite? <laughs> no, I need people under me who can also do that. <laughs> I don't. Then if I if I have people under me, I don't have to do it every time. <laughs> it's called networking. Damn. So, you think you can get this task done? I know I can get this task done. All right. Well, prove it. Uh, wait, can I head back now? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not holding you here. We're not the cops or anything. What a cop out! Fuck <laughs> <laughs> up. Da -da. Wait. See you later. Wait, well, actually, what can I get the picture to you? Um, I will be somewhere around on Friday. I'll get it from you. Okay. I'm going to start heading out then. Actually, All right. where's, where's the dorms? Because <laughs> uh, I got well, paper bag here, so I don't know where I am. <laughs> you're at Serena Hall. That makes sense. If you don't know your way back here, we're not helping you. I mean, I just want to know where I was before you started walking, wandering, but like, thanks. I'm sorry, I headed back to the dorm. Stop. Fuck you, Amber. <laughs> 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 you goddamn dick jokes. <laughs> right, so these cops are not cops. No. Are they, are they, do they have aliases is the question. I know you're not going to answer that, though. Um, they might have had, like, a fake name on it, on their chest, but that's about it. Actually, what were the three people named again? I got Luke, but I didn't hear the other two. Luke, Karen, and Tyler. I'll send their names in the... Time to not be here anymore. I'm going to start walking back to campus. Well, you're on campus, but... Walking back to the dorm. Yeah. I'm gonna be like looking around. Does anything look different at night on the campus? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's it looks dark. darker. I mean, there's different kinds of dark. Is it normal darkness <laughs> or advanced? Darkness? Now, yeah, I was about to say it's advanced darkness. 
It's a, uh, it's magical darkness, obviously. Oh, um, see, I'm blind. I cast magic missile in the darkness. <laughs> I cast magic missile. Oh, what? There's nothing there. There's always something in the darkness. Now nah, there's a lot of lights around campus, like all the walkways, to where it lights up most of the uh the area to where you, you can see where everywhere you're walking. But like outside of like the areas that don't have a lot of light, it's very dark. Yeah, I'm gonna head back to the dorm then. No need to get lost. Alright. So uh you get back. Uh Gavin's still sleeping. Presumably. Obviously. We all know that's all he does. <laughs> And he's gonna get his beauty sleep. Yeah, because he, he wakes up early for uh, gymnastics, man. Exactly. Eh, excuses. Uh, oh, shit. Wrong, wrong button. So, uh, any everything else goes by pretty smoothly throughout the night. Um, so it is morning. I'm assuming out of everyone, uh, Gavin wakes up the earliest. and yeah, probably I'll probably get... try to wake up early with him to ask him a question. He'll probably be getting out of the shop by the time you get him. Alright. Hey, Gavin, I might need your help with something. Depends what it is. I mean, I was given a task. It's kind of like what I was already trying to ask you to do, just with less clothes. <laughs> That's How much you paying? How much would it cost? Hmm. I reckon 200 per picture. What about 150? And I give you some proceeds I make afterwards. Mm, deal. Right. But it'll have to be later. I gotta go do some shit. Alright, cool. I'm like, you got to shake his hand. <laughs> As I said, deal. I got this. I was thinking instantly. He just got a Gavin. Gavin just like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> like, I knew Gavin was gonna be okay with this. That's why he's like my first choice. They didn't say he had to be a boy or a girl. That's what I made right. sure. <laughs> Ralph wins. They left left it up to you. I mean, I'm gonna try to get a girl as well, just to prove that I can do what the fuck I want. But like, if it doesn't work out the other way, I still have this one's backup. All right. Does Gail wake up early? Yes. How early? Because his first class at seven thirty. Um. Ooh, seven six five. Shit, he's up at five. Yeah. What time did Gavin wake up? Because his first class was also at 7.30. Um, well, he'd probably be at 5.30, <clears throat> so I can have about an hour's training. And get All right. Up small up. <laughs> you know what's really funny? The first hour was going to be gym session. The next hour was going to be lump, uh, breakfast. Shoot, if you get an hour for breakfast, because you got to figure his gymnastics is 6 to 7. Class at 7.30, so that's 30 minutes to be still sweaty, go eat, and then quickly run the class. I mean, it's fine being sweaty in class. Oh, uh, he'll jump in the shower for five minutes, and he'll grab breakfast on the way to class. Like, he'll just okay. duck in, grab a plate, and then walk off. <laughs> okay. Just he'll leave with the plate. Class. Well, he'll probably eat a bit of class. <laughs> Doesn't care. care. All right, um, so that's going... On Amalia, what time does she wake up? Because her first class is also at 7.30. Yeah, um, she probably wakes up... She probably wakes up at, like, 6. Because she doesn't get up to do shit in the morning. She probably wakes up at, like, 6, just has time to wake up, have some breakfast, get, like, get herself ready and go. She'll probably get there at, like, quarter after 7. Alright. Um... So Forsyth, sure yeah, Forsyth's class is until 10. So I'm going to wake up like 8.30. Can't eat my beauty sleep. Me, I woke up at 1 o'clock in the goddamn morning. 
So is <laughs> Rose. Y'all class is until 10. Oh, Rose is going to wake up at about 8-ish. All right, so we will, we're going to move from right to left. All right, so Gail, you wake up mm -hmm. early, you go work out, right? Yep. All right, so same thing as before. You see Gavin as you go to the gym. Mm hmm Did you interact with him at all? Uh, chuck him a nice wave and a yell of a hi. He'll wave back and uh, pretty much just go on. We got places. See. Today. You're kind um, of dumb, aren't you? Pardon? Uh, um, yeah, that's that's all I do with them at the moment. All right. What time do you stop working out to go eat breakfast before class? Uh, I have class at seven thirty. Seven thirty. Right? Or is it seven? Seven thirty. Yeah. So I'll stop at. Six. <clears throat> All right, stops at six, and then, uh, see, so yeah, as you would be leaving, Gavin would probably be getting there. Damn. And then you go, you go eat, and then anything else you do before class? Shower, obviously, but yeah. um, other than that, not really. All right. Um. You showered before you ate, or you ate in the showers? What? I ate in the showers? What? No, did you <laughs> and, shower, uh, then eat? Yeah. Or ate um, in the shower? I showered, then ate. All right, so how uh, time permits, uh, you would see Amalia actually getting there. But the real question is, does Amalia see him get there? <laughs> Well, the real thing is, can she actually tell him that she sees him there? <laughs> oh, oh. Touche. No. But she can tell Chirin. She runs up and gives Chirin a hug. Chirin hey. accepts the hug and hugs you back. Um, by the way, it's a good time to mention that... Uh, hold up. Was I walking to class at this point, or was this... This is, uh, this is going to go eat breakfast. Okay, well, the... Uh, Leverin and Michaelis are also out at that time, since they're going to eat something too. Nah, they got to starve. <laughs> if, was, no, if, uh, yeah? Keep going. Keep going. No, 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 you go, because my thing was pretty useless. Uh, I was just going to say, I got a reply to, uh, Amalia's text, so I'm going to get, uh, probably Nim to report. Oh, sweet. Uh, Gavin doing a huge backflip, and then just sending it to Amalia with, I ain't gotta explain shit. <laughs> Actually, I've got it. Oh, god damn it. I hate you all. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Just on you, I hate you too. What? Uh, Molly what? looks at her phone and she looks really cross after a moment. Wow. And she just sends him a dot dot dot. Oh. <laughs> Back with that A and B. <laughs> Alright, sure. Alright. Um does Um Amalia and Gail interact much during breakfast? Um well does she sit at the same table as me? Um she's gonna follow and sit next to Chirin. Fair, alright. She likes Chirin. I'll, uh, I guess I'll just ask her how her day is. And I'll just, I'll say, just wave the hand, hey, wave your hand if you don't have an easy way to answer that. She just, she looks at him. Thumbs up. And gives him a thumbs oh. up. Oh, I'm so <laughs> You read my fucking it. mind. I completely forgot about thumbs up and thumbs down. <laughs> God, Gail. That's a good way to go yes and no also. Yes. <laughs> and then sideways is maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And then a circle with your finger is like, okay. Yeah. She starts with a thumbs up and then does the like sideways maybe. And then she like places her hands together flat and like puts them next to her head like a pillow. 
and then pretends like she's sleeping for a second, but then startles awake. And then points to the bags under her eyes and shrugs. So you were awake last night. Did something wake you up, or...? She reluctantly gives, like, a like a half nod yes. Is it something you don't want to talk about, or is it... Uh, she, nod, she nods yes. If I may ask one last question, was it supernatural? She... <laughs> She does the hand motion that you told her to do before we started talking. Doesn't, oh. So like, there's no easy way to say that. Okay, is there just a, a yes or no is fine? She shrugs. She does the maybe. Okay. Fair enough. Amalia, you've been super difficult since day one. <laughs> Been difficult since 1963. Wow. Ralph picking on disabled kids. Yes. Oh, 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 disabled kids picked on Forsyth. So Forsyth says fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna add a note that I do know this kind of thing. Otherwise, Amalia is just gonna kinda eat breakfast unless Gail yeah, asks more questions. Um, no, I don't, I don't really have anything extra to ask. All right, um, we're going to, so you're doing that, um, so you said Rose isn't going to wake up to like nine. Eight, us, eight, 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 eight. Okay, yeah, that's right, eight. So we push you off a little bit. Forsyth, how late was he sleeping in? Eight thirty. Eight thirty. So y'all are y'all got a moment. All right. Um. So we'll go to well one thirty two first. Um. So Yell and Amalia, y'all are oh uh, walking with each other there without realizing it, that y'all wind up going to the same classroom. Hey. I'll just say, oh, so we got the same class together. She nods. She doesn't really look surprised. Ah. Uh, uh, what's the, the topic of this class? Just law. quickly. Law. It uh, is law ethics. Did I ask Amalia previously what she was studying? She told oh, no, you she, what had, she was studying. She had a postcard, yeah. right? And uh, the card thing. Yeah, I'll post it again. Yeah, no, I know I know which one it was. It was the introduction card. Yeah. Um I'll say, oh that's right. You you're studying law. She nods. She smiles. Yeah. Well you'll you'll have you'll be right at home in this class. She raises an eyebrow, suspecting that you mean something behind those words for some reason. Funny, I actually didn't intend it that way, but after thinking about it for a second, I totally realized I could so have meant something with that. I was and like, so, yes, very I, I, strangely I, phrased. I, she looks at you I, curiously. I, I so mean something behind that. And she's going to walk in and she's going to sit. Well, how many people get there? before we do. Oh, uh, since y'all are really early, um, there's not too many more people there yet. Front seat. <laughs> Front seat I'll... with a notebook and pen out. Ready to learn. I'll... I'll, um, chill, I don't know, in the middle somewhere. Right. Uh, and so this time so, I realized I'd like to aura read the people coming in. And Amalia as well. Okay. Let me look at the aura chart for me. Oh, it's different. Um, 
let's see. Well, oh, we lost. We lost someone in roll 20. Oh, did we? Oh, we oh, did too. Shit, shit. I'll be back in a second. Dear. I, Fail. I opened up the aura tab. Uh. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, that actually reminds me. I need to finish the things I'm missing on that sheet, but it's good enough for the moment. Um... Is there one that's like intellectual pursuits? Um, that would be. Uh, where is it? There's one in here. Um, <laughs> sup? Uh, Where is it? Um, deeply involved a person in a psychological okay. manner. No. Gold yellow. Goldish yellow? Golden yellow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that'd probably be the best one. Mm -hmm. Just is both it, of them. Gold is it, yellow. Is it specifically while you're in this class? Uh, I would say it's... Yeah, well, ever since we started talking about the subject of the class. She's not like as, as we got outside. Shit. She's like very into it. I see. No, she has a learning bowl in her now, of course. It's like her her um her overwhelming sexual desire just flipped off like a switch and now she really wants to learn. She no longer wants to fuck everything, she wants to learn. Oh my goodness, just let me rise. <laughs> That's when he finally wakes up again. I'll be, in, I'll be in like the middle of the class. He doesn't know that. Yeah, no, I'm just saying it for story purposes here. Uh, so. Um, so, bird with gale reading aura. So you got Amalia's aura. As yeah. people walk by, I, um, you have anything, like, the aura fluctuate depending on, like, who walks in. They're randomly, but nothing, like, major to really worry about. Sick. And then, uh, y'all instructor walks in. Um, Gail, you recognize him. Uh, he gets to the board and he introduces himself to the class, um, it is your actually same professor from uh, your other law class, Ned Luttrell. Luttrell, yeah. What does he look like? Um, he's very calm and collected, and he wear like he wears a he looks very professional. He's wearing a suit and tie, like he looks like he could probably be like a really good calm lawyer. Is he hot? <laughs> <laughs> the real question. Sure, why not? <laughs> 